Welcome to the Dozen Trivia here on YouTube. Please subscribe to the channel if you can. Would help us out a lot. We're trying to get everyone over here for the Dozen Trivia League Season 4. This is where all the matches are going to air, not on the Barstool main channel. And like the video if you can. The Dozen Trivia League Season 4 is going to kick off starting on October 9th. Next week, we're taking a week off to write and record a bunch of matches. And then from then on, October 9th until June of 2024, when we crown our champion in Chicago, it's trivia every week. The playing tournament is going to be four weeks long in October, four matches for the first three weeks. And then the final week, there'll be three matches. Three winners of those matches will make the Dozen Trivia League season four. And the 16th and final team will be selected by you, the fans at home. Everyone gets to pick one team. You get to select one team that will go. It could be 0-2 in the playing tournament and make it if you vote them in. So that will start on October 9th here on this YouTube channel. But this is a dozen trivia battle royale 1v1 tournament. We changed up the rules a little bit. People were asking for us to have more standard dozen categories to relate to it a little more and be able to play along. So we did that. We injected some new rules in here because whatever, it's a preseason tournament. You're about to see Brandon Walker take on PFT, followed by Kirk Minahan against Frank the Tank. Catch up if you have not done so already. Tomorrow, the rest of the Elite Eight will happen. It will be Fran against Nick, followed by KB against Clem. And then, the day after that, the 27th, both Final Four matches. And then on the 28th, our champion will be crowned, our first ever individual champion. Make sure to play trivia every single day at DailyDozenTrivia.com. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Enjoy. Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred McGriff? One. Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers are your champions. Unbelievable. Don't even go California! The movie's called Get Fucked. <laughs> hey, Jack. Champions of the dozen. Holy shit! Holy shit! All right, dozen, 1v1, Battle Royale, Elite Eight. Mm -hmm. uh, in person, this is the only one in person we're doing, but we're here in Chicago, so it's like we're at the we're at like a neutral site. We have like the dog walk logo. Yeah, we're like, like Geneva. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, the mid-season tournament almost. Yeah. Uh, PFT. Yes. Brandon Walker. That's my name. Teammates facing off for the first time in yep. this tournament. Yep. Teammates, not just teammates, Jeff, but also best friends. Yes. Yep. Here you go. Okay. Good luck, Brandon. Good luck I, to you. I'm rooting so hard for Brandon today. You're going to kill this tournament. They're in the, by the way, they're in the same room, but we don't even have like the in-person graphics, so it's still going to be in the Zoom window. Oh, hey. It's just, it's, so am I on this? So, so in, is, in that one, we just came into your window and no, no, no. I'm going to show this beforehand. <laughs> okay, all right. And then, and then it's going to hit the Zoom window in like three, two, one. Now it's okay. Zoom window. I'm rooting for this guy right here. That yeah. guy. No, that guy. That's the man over that there. Um, all right. A little bit of different rules here for the Elite Eight and on. Sure. You get your eight niche categories. Uh, four of them are regular difficulty. Four of them are hard difficulty. Right. Fans, they complain. They said, hey, that's what Dawson fans do. They do complain. But I do love them, though. But they did say, we want to be able to relate more to the questions. So four questions at the end yeah. are going to be standard dozen categories. Okay. You have to pick from the standard categories that we use in the dozen. Anything from the NFL to snacks and candy to celebrity mashup to golf, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. could be anything. Uh, it's going to go in order. So what you're saying, Jeff, is that if you're a fan of this show and you watch it and you complain loudly enough and frequently enough, Jeff mm -hmm. will actually change the rules. That's to, been happening since the inception of the show. It's just so. weird that whenever the teams complain, you don't really care about that. That's, that's true. I mean, mm -hmm. it's all about the fans. But there's nobody that cares more about dozen fans than the experts. That's very that's true. true. I we're, love our fans. We are the people's team. That's you. Yeah, I would say you're the people's team. We're the people. No, there's no. I'm we're, not asking. We're the original team. Yep. We're the people's team. Mm -hmm. Season four kicks off in November. Jeff, you guys we almost died during the pandemic showing up to work every single Tuesday and you Thursday made us to do this show. work so That's, goddamn much. I got COVID, the show was done remotely. I got COVID five times doing the dozen just to help Jeff out during, during the, the You had him do it from the hospital history. once. Yeah, that's true. Yep. I was on a ventilator, Jeff. <laughs> Real stories. Um... The experts will be back uh, in November as they as they try and... Spoiler alert, third. the experts will be back at the end of season tournament <laughs> as well, in the Final Four, and probably in the championship once more. Will they win it, though? That, well, that's, Danny, that was a very specific prediction you made, that, leaving out a very key <laughs> potential big moment. We know we've proven we can get to the championship. We can, yeah. We're like the Buffalo Bills. We are. And hey, there's some of them in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and they are the team of the people. Andre Reid's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, O.J. Simpson? 
Uh huh. Hall of Famer. Yep. Great Buffalo Bill. One of these two is going to advance and take on either KB or Clem. Pass. Yeah, uh, I don't want to give I don't want to give Clem any bulletin board material by leaving him out here, but I am I'm terrified of going up against KB when it comes to niche categories. Mm-hmm. Clem but, Clem went Clem went perfect on his regular difficulty in his last match, then missed a random one. I think he missed like Billy Madison, but KB's been pretty damn good. So. Yeah. yeah, I fucking hate Clem. Uh, do you have any individual stats for the tournament? Who's been the best? Not yet, but I believe it's it's wow. Kirk you, or KB. You used to do that. Now you just I do. Just, you kind of phone it in now, huh? Yeah, regular season. This is the preseason, basically. It's preseason. Tournament. This isn't even the guy we, we fell in love with. It's not it? like we. Jeff only instituted four new rule changes <laughs> for uh-huh. this match. So <laughs> Jeff, that's oh, lazy as hell. Team. Yeah. Um, after this match, it's Kirk versus Frank the Tank. I'm sure that'll be. I'm already very anxious about that match. Not for Kirk at all. That's all Frank. Frank. Though Frank is seeing the board differently than he's ever seen it. In the dozen. All right. Uh, here we go. The eight categories, niche categories selected by PFT, will be in the regular difficulty the Simpsons, modern US air to air combat jets, Tex Mex food, and the United States men's national team World Cup. The hard difficulty will be Washington football team, Sublime, ska music, and the funnies. The funnies, uh, which is just like newspaper comic strips. strips. Comic strips. Uh, your four standard dozen categories will be geography, music, chain restaurants, and the National Football League. Okay. I love the funnies as a category. I look forward to that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Are you a comic strip guy? I kind of am. What was your favorite? I was a big Snuffy Smith guy, shockingly. Really? Yeah. I'm a huge Garfield guy. I feel like you got to be not you, answering Top three, questions. i got to go you, Calvin and Hobbes. You're giving him like ammo for oh, his no. answer. Calvin and Hobbes, easy number one. Easy number easy one. Easy number one. Calvin and Hobbes, Garfield, like, far side. You like Garfield? Gar- I love Garfield. Okay, Garfield, this might be a hot take. Garfield is maybe the least funny comic of Garfield's all time. Garfield's fantastic. There's never, you think it's an accident that he's been around 45 years? I've never laughed once at Garfield. You've laughed at Garfield. <laughs> I do that's hate Monday. But hey, hey, that's, that's your opinion, and you're my statement. teammate. Garfield is the most overrated piece of pop culture in American history. Let's agree to disagree. Wow. As friends. Except for the one where, where John Arbuckle ate Odie's cum. <laughs> Brandon, your four regular difficulty in each will be WWF, WCW, SEC Basketball, and Scrubs. Your hard difficulty will be the Cosby Show, Major League, that thing you do in SEC football, and your... Uh, Categories from the dozen standard categories: Major League Baseball, movies, TV, college football. You Wait, he's can, got he's got SEC basketball and Scrubs. That's a little redundant. <laughs> you can well done. You can <laughs> you can double up from uh, one time in each level: one sure. regular, one hard, difficult, one standard dozen. Okay. Wait, say that again. You can double up on each each level. There's three groups of four. Okay, got it. Okay, here we go. Brandon, you took down Rico, then took down Mark Titus, yeah. PFT. Uh, you defeated Tommy Smokes and then beat I Che. Beat the fuck out of Che. Did so, you? Winner Good. takes on KB or Clem. Uh, PFT, you're going to be going first with Simpsons. Okay. Simpsons. I, uh, may I? Yeah. PFT. Good luck. Friend. Good luck. Good luck, Brandon. Uh, that was, we're I just, truly don't care. We're going to go right down the line. May the best man win. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just have fun out here. Uh, here's your Simpsons question. Do you want a double? No. No double for PFT. Uh, I should probably get a timer up here. Oh, maybe not. Here we go. The Simpsons. Really half-ass on this one, Jeff. I mean, I just feel like you guys are going to know. In Season 3, Episode 4, Bart stumbles into a mafia meeting, but impresses them and gets hired as a bartender after making what drink? Ooh. <sighs> what drink was that? Like I will need a time. Joe Montagna did the voice of Fat Tony. He makes something with... That's a piece a re- of fruit in it at the end. That's or? a regular difficulty question. Um, hmm. I don't know the answer to it. I'm going to guess in old fashioned. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> Incorrect. Correct answer was Manhattan. Manhattan. Oh, that's it was Manhattan. 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 Right. You, knew, you knew it. No, I just waited until after you said it. Oh, I, knew, okay. I knew it was finished with a cherry. Okay. That was a tough question. That was a tough question. Uh. Okay, Simpsons off the board. Brandon, WWF, do you want a double? I do not. Okay, here we go. This is for Brandon, WWF. Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, and what career face wrestler won a three on five elimination tag match in the main event of Survivor Series 1990? That would be Tito Santana. Final answer? Yes. Okay, that is correct. Nice job, Brandon. One point for Brandon in his first question. I got an easier question than you did. I, that was a tough break. Mine was for you. very tough, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, Next up, modern U.S. air-to-air combat jets. Okay. Do you want to double? Uh, no, and I have not studied, so... Okay, mm. here we go. Retired in 2006 after being introduced in 1974, what manufacturer made the F-14 Tomcat? 
The F-14 Tomcat uh, from Top Gun. I believe it was retired for retired in 2006 after being introduced in 1974. Mm. I'm going to go with Lockheed Martin, Jeff. Final answer? Final answer. Grumman Tomcat. Oh, oh boy. That's tough start. And tough, very tough start. No points for PFT so far. Wow. Next up, WCW. Do you thought want to go? I was going to be identifying aircraft. That's what fine. were my... Oh, I thought the manufacturer ones were easier. Yeah. It's like in the name. I do not want to uh, double WCW. Okay, WCW to make it. Two to nothing, Brandon. Here we go. This wrestler's first career pay-per-view main event came at Spring Stampede 1997. 1997 uh, April 6, 1997, he defeated Macho Man Randy Savage. Uh, I believe his name was Diamond Dallas Page. Final answer. Yeah. That is correct. Did Brandon get, get these questions earlier? He, t- he did not. He did ask to write some, and I said no. Mm-hmm. I, I'm rooting for him, but... No, I just... Yeah, I'm, okay, yeah. yeah I'm it's, it's fine. Good answer. Good answer, yeah. Brandon. Uh, may, I, may I? May, yes. I? may I explain? Yes. Uh, that was a stroke of question luck. He would have no reason to know that that pay per view was in Tupelo, Mississippi. Okay. And was the first, it was April 6th, so a week before my 18th birthday. And it just happened to be my first pay per view as well. All right. I actually did write almost none of these in your match today, mm-hmm. uh, except for the music uh, and a couple of the other ones. Um, so, yeah, no bias there. Here we go. 2 nothing. Brandon with the lead. 13 points remaining for both. Uh, Tex Mex food is next. Yeah, I'll double. I'll double, Jeff. There You're we go. Double Tex Mex food. Yeah. No. So that means you will not be doubling U.S. Men's National World Cup. Actually, no. I'm I'm going to hold off on my double. Okay, here double we go. Last one. Yeah. For one point, then. For one point, then. This Mexican dish is a tender spice meatball soup loaded with veggies and potatoes with its Tex-Mex variety amping up the spice level. Uh, Mexican meatball soup. Cal. Um, Cal Leves. Cal C-A-L. Fifteen seconds. Thought you didn't have a timer. I have a timer. It's in his head. No, I, I, I did end up doing a timer. Oh, uh, Abo Abo Abondigas Abondigas. Final answer, Jeff. That is That's correct. Good, good answer, answer BFT. Let's go. Good answer, Huge. BFT. Let's go. Wow. Huge for dug, BFT. Dug deep for that one. Huge. That was. Yeah. I like. That was good. It's a great good energy. Soup. It's a great. Good I can't answer. miss a combo text message. Good answer. And soup question. So just just that is true. Yeah, very yeah. relieved on that one. That is true. People are saying that. Giving you a Mississippi question is the equivalent of giving PFT a soup. That's true. Actually, I, w- I didn't say it earlier because I got distracted, but seeing you eat soup in the office was a nice, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's it's legit. It's almost soup. Are you like Leonardo DiCaprio meme? Like, Relatable. Oh, there yeah, it goes. Yeah, there it goes. Uh-huh. fucking soup. Uh, here we go for Brandon. The SEC basketball to make it three to one. I, do you want to double? No, I'm going to double scrubs. Okay, so scrubs will be double. This is for Brandon. SEC basketball. This LSU player was freshman of the year in the SEC for 2003-2004, then player of the year the following year, then player of the year the following year. This freshman forward, this forward was freshman of the year in the SEC for 2003-2004, then player of the year the following year for LSU. I have four guesses in my mind. That's tough. Can I use all four of them? There are, you can, can I quad this? You can use all four, but if you use all four, the first name you say will be your final Let me quad sip this. Okay, yep. I know this one. All right. So I'm just going to say my four guesses. The answer is going to be in here. Okay. It's either Tyrus Thomas, Stromile Swift. I think he was too early. Tyrus Thomas, Stromile Swift, Brandon Bass, or Glenn Big Baby Davis. They made the final four in 06. I think I'm going to scratch Glenn Big Baby Davis from this. So I'm going to take it down to Stromile Swift or, no, Tyrus Thomas or Brandon Bass. And I'm going to go with my final answer right now. That I'm going to say, and it is Tyrus Thomas. It's Brandon Bass. Tyrus Thomas, Tyrus Thomas played with Glenn Davis. Yeah. With Big Baby. Uh, first there miss for Brandon. Great duo. Great duo. Great duo. PFT. Hey, that's tough. Yep. Didn't Tyrus, Tyrus, Tyrus Thomas was on the... Uh, Bulls. W- yep. He got drafted like number three overall, was Jeff? Wasn't he part of the LaMarcus Aldridge trade or something? Who's I might have made that up in my head. Um, next up, this is for two points. Both of you are going to double the last round of the regular difficulty niche categories. Here yep. we go. U.S. Men's National Team World Cup. This would make it 3-2 uh, to two PFT. Okay. In the 1994 World Cup, two U.S. Men's National Team players scored goals in the group stage. Eric Winalda and this player against Colombia. Ooh, against Colombia. Um, 
I know they had the own goal that was scored by Escobar. And then Eric Winalda, John Harkson on the team, Tab Ramos, Kobe Jones. Was it Kobe Jones? I don't think it was Kobe Jones. Um, Need an answer in five, four, three, two. Kobe Jones, final answer. One. Ernie Stewart. Ah, Jesus Ernie Christ. Stewart. Stewart. That's a miss. You kind of, you kind of showing out here today, Jeff. That's a tough Some question. Tough questions. Yeah. I, I think that. Also, yeah. wasn't the he only Escobar- scored like three times in the group? Yeah, there were many all, options. Eric wasn't yeah. the Escobar goal the only one? But it was credited to Ernie Stewart because he was the last one that touched. No, it? no, that was an own goal. There were two. We won that game two to one. Oh, we, I thought we won it one nothing. We tied Switzerland, and that's I knew Eric Winalda scored. So against we were neutral Switzerland. against Switzerland. We were, yeah. Uh, here we go to make it. Uh, four to one after the regular difficulty round. This is Scrubs. In season three, when Turk and Carla get lonely after kicking JD out, they invite Elliot over, but she dislikes playing what guessing game with Turk? Uh oh. Oh. It's moving already. I've got a guess. It's not charades. You're off cam you're off camera now, just <laughs> a heads not charades. up. It's not charades. Um, that is normal for Brandon, that is fair. Uh should double text Max. It's Damn. something stupid like guess the potato chip or something. No, it's like to, no, 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 uh, uh, toe or finger, toe or finger, toe or finger. Final answer. Yes, that is correct. Toe or finger, four to one, four to one. You didn't, you didn't congratulate me there, PFT. Congratulations, Brandon. That was a great answer. Uh, now to the hard difficulty. Just seems round. like you were toe or finger. Hard difficulty. I mean, that was a tough. That was a tough one. It was. Uh, well, no, it wasn't. Watching football. Well, it kind of was. Though. I would never forget that. To her finger. That's well, I didn't forget it because I got it. I didn't forget we it. You forgot for a little bit. Washington football team, do you want to double this? Uh, I'm at. I'm playing with all-time low confidence right now. I'm not going to double it. Okay. Okay. Come on, PFT. This is where we separate the men from the boys. Right team. Here. here we go to make it 4-2. to two. Okay. After having previously played in the in an AFC championship game, what QB made the final start of their NFL career in, with Washington in 2018? Previously played in an AFC Championship game. What quarterback made the final start of their NFL career with Washington in 2018? Um, let's see. 2018, was that the Mark Sanchez year? It was, I, yeah, AFC Championship. Yeah, Mark Sanchez. Mark Sanchez, final answer. That is correct. PFT gets that one. He has two points. It's four to two. Brandon, wow, your so, hard, difficult category next is going to be Cosby Show. Just it was weird, you know, question from five years ago. It's not very hard. Well, yeah, it was a crazy game. It was, I believe, it was Mark Sanchez handing the ball off to Adrian Peterson. Well, you didn't really remember that one either because you were, you know, me not remembering. In all time, finger. like, what are these two guys doing on this team moment? It's just weird that all of a sudden you know NFL right, football. Do you want to double Cosby and get NFL questions right way more than you do? I'm going to go with uh, double. Doubled up to make it six to two. Cosby Show. In season four, episode five, Christopher Plummer plays a theater and acting teacher who helps Theo tackle what play he is studying in school. Oh no! Never missed the oh, Cosby no. question. Oh no! He's man. never missed the Cosby. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! This would be an all-timer. It's Shakespeare. Uh, it's Shakespeare. He wrote it's, a few plays. Yeah. It's not. No. Oh, oh, fuck. Come on, Brandon. It's uh, it's Shakespeare. You want me to name a couple? Yes. No, I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. It's not that. Five. Four. It's not Julius Caesar. Three. Hamlet. Two. Hamlet. One. Hamlet. It's Julius Caesar. <laughs> oh, 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 the first ever Cosby miss. Man, Brandon, that's the worst thing that's ever happened with the Cosby show. <laughs> that is the worst Cosby show moment in the history of anything. Um, you feel good about this, don't you? You finally got me. No, be- honestly, we don't know anymore. Like, I'll be Julius honest. Caesar. Like, it's... Damn it. There is no pool. It was Julius Caesar. There's no pool of hard or easy for Cosby because we just assume yeah. you know everything. I, yeah. I think it's interesting that Brandon's 0 for 1 on Cosby show in the only live setting that he's ever taped it in. Well, what are you suggesting, my good man? I just thought it was interesting. That's all. No, he's done. He did Cosby in, in Final Four. No. no, let him say what he's going to say, Joe. Yeah. Let him say what he's going to say. I just thought it was you interesting. You guys are teammates in a few weeks. Let, let him, go, so let him say what he's going to say. Yeah, we're always teammates. We're teammates. Uh, yeah. We're experts. Good luck, Sublime. Brandon. Sublime. Oh, yeah, double, double. Look Dublin. at me. I know Dublin. 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 Sublime. Dublin. It's Dublin. four to two. I know two. one band from the nineties. That's Dublin. big for PFT. PFT. Uh, yeah, that that's that that's pretty big. Down yep. two, but you do have one extra point remaining on Brandon. That's Here we good. go. How's Sublime. That? How? Because he has no doubles yet. Now he I mean, now, he now he's using it. But going into this question, 
He had nine left. You had eight left. I'm just okay. you know making the point here. It's that Mississippi uh, math. For two points, it's going to be a finish the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Finish the lyrics is 1996 Sublime song. Yes, really, sir. You can hear it four times. Okay. Here we go. Here's your question. Don't worry about how many times you've blown this category. I haven't really. I got the microwave, got the VCR, I got the deuce deuce in the trunk of my car. Final, Final answer. answer. That is correct. I only needed, I've got the microwave, got the VCR. Two points, okay. we're tied up. Brandon to regain the lead. Uh, Major League is your next category. Major League in the hard difficulty round. Can I double? You cannot. Here we go. Major League. That's a good, good bit. When, Jane, when Jake asks Lynn at her library what she sees in Tom, she replies that he's stable, intelligent, and she never found him in bed with what? Stewardess. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. <laughs> it is five to four. Brandon with a slight advantage. Uh, next up, ska music for PFT. Okay. Well, that's almost the exact same as the oh, last one. It's different. Sublime, Sublime is a mix of dub, rock, steady, reggae, ska, yes, <laughs> punk rock. You're right. Okay. And psychedelic. Uh, and hip hop. Who released this 1997 ska song? Who released this 1997 ska song? Uh, that, I believe, is My Town. Can you play it again one more time? That's My Town by Buck09. Buck09, final answer. That is correct, Buck09. We, al- we almost asked for title. Clearly wouldn't have mattered. That's not that easy of a question. No, it's the hard difficulty. Yeah. Is Hamlet even a Shakespeare play? It is, right? Yeah. yeah I think so. Okay, all right. I'm, I said that like it's my opinion. Like, yeah. All right. Probably. Agree, um, disagree. Brandon, it seems like you're still thinking real hard about that miss that you had. Really, I want you to get that out of your okay, head. all right, you're right. Thank you. Stop SEC thinking football. about the fact that you embarrassed yourself in front of the nation. It's just I'm not used to having to regroup without carrying the whole team. Ask me, uh, that thing you do is next. That thing you do. To make it six to five. Revealed in the epilogue, what is the name of Jimmy's new band that he recorded three gold albums? The Herdsman, final answer. That is correct. Did you know that Howie Long was in that movie? Yeah, he was gay. Yeah, he was, he was uh, yeah. Tom Hanks' gay lover. Yeah. And they cut him out of the final Yeah, he final wasn't cut. Yeah. Um, next mm-hmm. up for, K, uh, for, for PFT, it's The Funnies. The Funnies. Oh, the Funnies. I like this yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, here we go, The Funnies to make it six to six. Here is The Funnies for PFT. In the comic strip Blondie, what is the name of Blondie's husband that is often seen eating comically Dagwood. large multi-layered sandwiches? Dagwood. Yeah, comically large sandwiches. That's the Dagwood. Final answer. Dagwood, final answer. Dagwood is correct. PFT goes through the hard difficulty round perfect. Mm. Uh, it's 6-6. Six six. Brandon, though, can take the lead going into the standard dozen categories. Good luck, rounds. Brandon. Here we go. This is SEC football. <laughs> It'd be very embarrassing if you miss this. A freshman at Georgia in 1998, this QB had a solid sophomore season, but had junior year struggles before being drafted by the Cowboys in 2001. Quincy Carter, final answer. That is correct. Brandon has the lead going in to the standard dozen categories round. He did miss the double there, but again, five points remaining for both, one point lead. He did miss the double. Cosby Show double at that. Uh, PFT, geography is going to be the first thing up for you. Do you want a double? What are, what are the other categories? You have geography, in? music, chain restaurants, and the NFL. Ugh. Um, no, I'm not going to double. Okay, here we go. Geography. Good luck, Good luck PFT. Don't, Thanks, one point. don't worry the fact that you've never gotten this category on our team. You're just making things up. You've never gotten you're this right for our team. Making things up like it's like here we Cosby go. answer all over We've again. had these big games. and you've The never... largest city in the United States by population whose name is less than six letters is this city located in Arizona. Ooh, I believe that's Mesa. Let me go through it. Uh, Mesa, four letters, Phoenix, F. Or no, Phoenix doesn't start with F. Uh, P H O E N. You're just fully off camera. Seven, now. which uh, you usually are. So I guess it's nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Tucson. Uh, T U S C O N. Ten Fuck. Uh, can you read the ca- read the question? Oh again? yeah, I'll, I'll. Yep, the largest city in the United States by population whose name is less than six letters is a city located in Arizona. I think it's it's Mesa or Tucson. Need something in. Five, four, three. Mesa, final answer. That is correct, Mesa. I just knew it was Tempe. I knew it was Tempe and he was wrong. Well, you're wrong. I am wrong. Yeah. Way to go. Thanks. Major League Baseball to make it eight to seven. Great match. Who's winning? Do you want a double? I, can I ask the same question he did? What are the other categories I got? Yep. Um, I got uh, NBA? No. Major League Baseball, movies, TV, and college football. 
I don't think I'll double this. Okay. You're going to double college football? I think so. During the strike short 1995 season, this Rockies outfielder led the majors with 40 homers and finished a career best second in MVP voting. To make it 8-7. to seven. Okay. So, so, I'd, uh, I'd like to double sip. I know the answer. I'd like to high noon double sip. Can I double dip? Double nope. bite? Can I double double bark? Nope. There really are two possible Co- answers. Correct. Yeah. Which one are you going to take? You want me to say Larry Walker, but I'm not going to. You can say something in 10 seconds. Well, I can stretch the 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say, hmm, fuck, I don't like this. I'm going to say Dante Bichette, final answer. That is correct, Dante Bichette. Brandon regains the lead. Music, next category. Do you want to double? Nope. Okay, music, you're going to hear a song. You're going to tell me who released it. It's a okay. 1995 song. Okay. You're going to tell me who released this song, PFT. Here, up to four times. Uh, play it again. Play it again. <laughs> Play it again. Play it again. I can't. <laughs> You're out of play. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer. I'm going to guess CNC Music Factory. Final answer. Come on. Can I answer? Can I answer it? Say That's it. Be My Lover by LaBouche. Oh, it's it's LaBouche. 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 Brandon has a chance to take a larger lead here. PFT has three points remaining. Brandon, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm a, whatever the next category is. I'm uh, well, it's, it's movies, excuse me. Okay, M- single. Single for I'm Brandon. doubling college football. You should double okay. movies, yeah. Okay, here we go. Brandon, to make it movies? nine to seven. I'm not good on movies. Okay. Jody Foster and Kristen Stewart play a mother and daughter whose new home gets broken into by burglars in this 2002 David Fincher movie. Film. Mm. Can I answer it? No, nope. I know it, but it, safe room, final answer. Incorrect. No, it's panic room. It's panic room. Panic it's room. Panic room. You fucking moron. Panic room. Yeah, I clearly knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. If you had, okay. any, yeah. If you had any decency, no you would blood. give me that I'm, one. I have no decency. No blood, but Brandon re- remains in the lead by Dude. one. Chain restaurant. Panic no room. Double. No double. No double for PFT. He'll double the last category, which sounds like Brandon will as well. Have you ever gotten the last category right? All the time. <laughs> This chain has a fast food drive through front window, and diner-style sit-down service. It is known for specialty burgers such as the Frisco Melt. It has all those options in one. Frisco Melt. You can drive through. You can sit down. Front window. Frisco Melt. This would make it eight to eight. Drive through front window and sit down. Drive through comma front window comma diner-style sit down. Fifty. So three different things. Yep. Three options for service. I bl- need something in five. I think four. it's. I think it's friendlies. Three. Friendlies. Final answer. Steak and shake. <sighs> Steak and shake. Steak and shake. Here we go, Brandon. You can have a nine to seven lead going you, into the final question. You know, would that make me dormy? Yes. <laughs> he just loves to say that. I do. I mean, it's a good. It's a good golf term. Dormy. Can't win. Can't lose in regulation. Television. Okay. Phil Hartman received his final Emmy nomination posthumously for this NBC sitcom that ran from 1995 through 1999. The criminally underrated. Does this win it for me, or this just takes me dormy? Okay. Take you to dorm, dormy. News radio. That Featuring is correct. Joe Rogan. That's yeah. good. They also, also correct. Very good show. Yeah. Uh, PFT, you need this to stay alive. Yeah, I'm dead. Brand's going to get his last one. It's college football. He never ever misses a, a college football question. So. Here we go. NFL can doubled I, up. Can I concede? No. Because I think you're going to get this. I mean, Brand's going to get his final one. Okay. What wide receiver was a top three in what wide receiver was top three in receiving yards among wide receivers in the 2012 Ravens and 2017 Eagles during their Super Bowl winning seasons? Jacoby Jones. Anquan Bolden. Um, 15 fuck. seconds. Mike Wallace? No. Five. Four. Three. This is wrong. Two. 
Anquan Bolden. One. Answer. Incorrect. Brandon advances. Uh, correct answer was Tory Smith. Tory Smith. Tory oh. Smith. Brandon, you will not get your college. Oh. That'll move on. Oh, That'll move Smith. on to the final four. Brandon will take on KB or Clem. PFT. I mean, this, that was some borderline bad blood here before the regular season started. Yeah, that's fine. It's not bad blood. It's whatever. This competitor is competing. Yeah. I, listen, I, Brandon's going to get his ass kicked by KB or Clem. Either one. Because I know he's afraid to take on Kirk in the finals, so he's going to probably lose intentionally. And that'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I'm glad I'm glad Brandon moves on. I got to look in the mirror. I missed the plane question. That was tough. And, uh, yeah, the Simpsons question should have got that too. So it was uh, not, not my best game today, but that's fine. Good my luck. turn? Well, it will be nice competing in the next round without the dead weight around my neck that I've had so often in trivia. Um, you know, I get up there, and when you have to carry an entire team, you have to carry somebody for months and you months, s- for okay. years. For I, I got this, Jeff. I got this. For years since the dozen started, you carry somebody, and you carry somebody, and you carry somebody, and to finally get them off your chest is like a weight being lifted. So I can't wait to compete against Clem or KB in the next round. I'm going to be rooting for you, man. Thank you, man. Good, good luck. That'd be awesome. I appreciate well, it. He, this was you, a well-played game. It would suck if you say, lost. He said his last match, he wouldn't mind if somebody else was like, because he is – he's – I wouldn't say he's the face of the team. I think Fran is. But I think he is the face of, like, the defeat. Like, he's always the meme. <laughs> yeah. And he did mention he would not he would not mind being not the meme this year. Yeah, no, so, Brandon is a great loser. I I, just, we have a company filled with losers, and you're probably the best. I just like the fact that you run this entire dozen operation, and you just admitted to everybody that when the experts win, it's about him or her. Well, it's about Fran. And when we lose, it's about me. You see the weight that I've I been mean, carrying? Like, well, I mean, you I see the it. weight that I've been carrying? I get it. I get it. I get it. Like, when we lost, there's no pictures of PFT or Fran reacting. It's just me sitting there. Yeah, it was Kirk putting the trophy in your face. And then it was Frank the year before popping the confetti in your face. Do you think it, it's because your face is considerably fatter than mine or Fran's, and so it looks funnier when you're sad? Too mean. Just a question. Too mean. Too, too far. Um... But, but yeah, I mean, you guys are good at trivia, so I think you're going to be a good team again. I think oh, one of us is. Enough. I mean, that, I think, did you well, see that today? Maybe we'll see some upsets. This he didn't year. know Tory Smith. It, it, was a bad, it was a bad showing. There's a very clear. The remaining people are all from the same team. That's the thing. It's like people got mad. Like, oh, it's, a, it's like those teams made that. Those are like no, those are just the best teams. Like they're just good at it. So we'll see. Maybe someone will sneak in this year. But the experts. Did you have that ranking of the experts that, that you keep personally one, two, and three? Of who I like the most. Of, of who's the best at trivia. No, who you like the most, Jeff? Who's the best at trivia? Last year, it, if you went off points, it would have been Brandon, Fran, PFT. You're all top 15 scorers, though. You're, mm. you're one of only two teams, I think, to have Interesting. that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. You're all, you're all very good at trivia. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. You know what? You know what? To, to be honest, I know where you should be thanking us. You should I be on there. your hands am, and knees thanking us. I am thankful for you guys. I was, I was, I have felt gutted to watch you lose both times both years i saw you fist bump kirk i saw you i I saw you fist bump i did the same thing to big cat in philly when they beat the frankettes i do to teams that win i'm happy for the team i'm very happy very happy for rico very very happy happy. i don't actually you whispered durham i don't know if i'm happy for rico i'm very happy for kirk and quiggs i don't know if i'm happy for rico you're very happy for rico you were so happy you're a real piece of shit i don't know i don't know if i'm a real piece of shit all right. All right. Good game. Uh, good that's game. it. Uh, the next match you're about to see is Kirk. Speaking of Team Minahan against Frank the Tank. That's that's gonna get. Oh yeah. Hide the sharp out. I have no one. idea. I have no idea. Thanks for watching. All right, it's a dozen 1v1 Battle Royale here on the Dozen Trivia on YouTube and wherever you're watching, social media, Barstool Sports. It is our second match of the night. You just watched Brandon defeat his teammate, PFT, in a, in a, a defensive battle, I might add. It was like 9-7 to seven final score, I think. Uh, questions were pretty difficult, uh, but Brandon moving on to the next round. He'll take on the winner of KB and Clem, which you'll see tomorrow. You'll also see... Uh, you're going to see uh, Nick and Fran as well tomorrow. But tonight, the number one overall seed, Kirk Minahan, taking on the biggest underdog remaining, Frank the Tank, the 24 seed. Kirk, how you feeling here? Uh, I feel good. I mean, I feel like this is going to be a really good match. You know, Frank and I, uh, 
don't have much of a relationship. I think we have a trivia respect for each other. We've gone head to head a few times. And I think Frank is going to be, I've watched his matches. I know he's going to be really good. This format is built for a guy like Frank. So to me, this might be my toughest match yet uh, on my way to a championship. Keep in mind, I beat Brandon twice before this. I beat uh, uh, Eric, uh, Eric Compton, Jesus. Uh, I beat Will Compton twice. Uh, Eric Compton had a heart transplant, the golfer. And uh, uh, I beat Rome once. So no one else has won more than twice. I won five times. I, the, it's eventually the law of averages. And Frank is a, uh, is a 24 seed is way, way, way undervalued. Yeah, the seating the seating is definitely going to be changed next year. It'll be more based off of this when we do this. We'll probably pare it down to sixteen. We'll, but we'll figure it out. That's for next year. Uh, but yeah, you you have played technically three times in two rounds. Yeah, that is worth noting. Awesome. <laughs> that yeah. is worth noting. Uh, Frank, format change a little bit. Uh, you guys are going to get your eight niche, four regular, four difficult. You're going to get three doubles, one for the first four the regular difficulty, another one you can use on the second set of four, which is a hard difficulty. And now the new wrinkle, you guys picked your your uh, your best standard dozen categories, and you can double one of those. Uh, Frank, do you, does, do you think the rule change is going to hurt or help you here? Uh, I think the old uh, was just quite suited for me so well. It did. You were, but you, you, Frank, Frank's reply was, ugh, when I told him the rule change. But I... I I feel the same way. I mean, I feel like this is sort of Kirk proofing the tournament in some way where like, you know, this is what I know. best. So I feel like now it's sort of allows the media, the brand of walkers of the world sort of mediocrity has its place. So we'll see. I mean, I think Frank, yeah, yeah. I, I think I agree with Frank on that. That may be the case. Uh, okay. You get one double per level. The first level will be your four niche that are regular difficulty. Your second level will be the four niche that are hard difficulty. And the last level will be your four standard dozen questions. Frank's categories in the regular difficulty will be hot dog geography, uh, Magnum PI, New York Mets jersey math, the Empire Strikes Back. His harder difficulty will be sports champions, big four sports mascots, New York Mets and Seinfeld. And his standard dozen categories will be U.S. history, television, the NHL, Major League Baseball, uh, and then Kirk, your four uh, regular difficulty niche categories will be uh, Billboard Top 100, uh, followed by Rocky Three, uh, Larry Bird, Bruce Springsteen, and then your hard difficulty niche will be Born in the USA album, Oscars Best Picture, Freddie Couples, and History of the Eagles, the documentary, and your four standard dozen will be Major League Baseball as well, television as well, golf, and then movies. We're going to go right in that order. Frank, you're up first. Hot dog geography, uh, do you want to double? No. Oh, so we don't, nope. pick, we don't pick for our opponents at all. So. Yeah, no, we're, we're cutting that out. That felt that felt repetitive and people were going down the list. So we, that was our, Go ahead, Frank. That was, our, that was our feedback we took. So here we go. These, uh, this first question is going to be for Frank. He chose uh, hot uh, – or it's going to be hot dog geography first. Here it is. For one point, no double. One of Frank's many stops in Ohio. And what city did Frank review? Dog Days, giving it a double. Dog Days. Thirty seconds on the clock, as always. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Um. Canton. Is that your final answer? Yes. That is correct. That was a very quiet ding, but that is in fact correct. One to nothing, Frank. <clears throat> Other side, Kirk, your next category will be uh, Billboard Top 100. Billboard Top 100. Here's your question. It will be an audio-based question. No double here. No double. Okay, here we go. Billboard Top 100. This is for Kirk. Who released this 1986 song that charted on the year-end Hot 100 list in 1987? You can hear it up to four times, Kirk. Here it is. Just for funny sense, get a job. Uh, uh, Bruce Hornsby in the range, final answer. That is correct. Bruce Hornsby in the range. One to one. They both get their first questions off the top. Other side, Frank, Magnum P.I. Magnum P.I., do you want to double? Now, what are the uh, double rules again? I, I... Uh, you can double either this, Mets, Jersey, Math, or Empire Strikes Back. Um, 
Let's you can say Magnum it. PI. All right, you're going to double up Magnum PI. Here we go. Yeah. Regular uh, difficulty niche double off the board for Frank Magnum PI. In season four, episode 14, what legendary comedian plays a woman who hires Magnum to follow her recently released for, from prison father? Um, Carol Burnett. Final answer? Yep. That is two points for Frank. Carol Burnett is correct. And that is one of my favorite episodes. They get trapped in a bank vault. <laughs> there it is. That is the dozen debut for Carol Burnett, the legend. Uh, over to Kirk Rocky Three. Any double or no? Uh, not yet, no. Okay, not yet. Here's Rocky Three to make it three to two. Kirk has not used any doubles. During the opening montage, Rocky is in an advertisement for two car brands, Maserati and this notable car from the 1980s. I actually don't know this. I have no idea. Uh, 15 seconds. No clue. Notable car. 10 seconds. DeLorean, final answer. I don't know if that was a work or not, but that is correct. No, that was a 50-50. 50-50. 50-50. <laughs> okay. Three to two. No misses yet. Frank has the lead, but Kirk has not used a double yet. Over to Frank. New York Jets jersey math. You'll get three players. New York Mets. Yeah. Did I say Jets? I'm sorry. I would never do that to you. I'm sorry. I would never, Frank. Uh, New York Mets jersey math. You're going to get three Mets, and you're going to have to add up their jerseys. You can say the three jerseys out there and do the math. Here we go. Add up these. What is the total number of these three Mets jerseys combined? Mackie Sasser, Jose Vizcaino, and Kevin McReynolds. Thirty-seven. Final answer. Yes. That is incorrect. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Fuck! I thought he was thirteen, but Skyano. Two fifteen and twenty-two. Two fifteen and twenty-two. First blank is Frank. Over to Kirk. Larry Bird. What are you going to do? I'll double this one. Doubled up Larry Bird to take the lead. <clears throat> During his brief stint at Indiana, Bird has stated he felt mistreated Kent by uh, Kent Benson. Final answer. That is correct. Four to three. Kirk with the lead. Both have used the same amount of doubles. Back over to Frank. The Empire strikes back to make it four to four. When loading into their snowspeeder prior to the Battle of Hoth, Dak tells Luke that he feels like he could do what? I could take on the whole Empire myself. Final answer. That is correct. <laughs> four to, Famous four to last four. words that he got squashed like a fucking bug. <laughs> Immediately killed. <laughs> killed with <laughs> seconds of the battle uh kirk to take the lead five to four going into the hard difficulty round here we go here's your question bruce springsteen finish the lyrics of this 1978 springsteen song here it is your facts learn baby i got my facts real good right now final Fine. Hard. okay five to four kirk with the lead has not missed yet Frank, with the slight slip up on Mets, makes it five to four. But a lot of points left, two doubles remaining. Uh, now we go to the harder difficulty round. Four harder difficulty niche categories. You get one double each. First one is going to be for Frank sports champions. Do you double. want a double? No? Yes, double. Okay, doubled up for Frank. I want to remind everyone at home watching, Frank does know this, sports seasons in this world, and because the NFL is weird, it's March of that specific year until February of the next year. That's how we calculate seasons and champions, because the NFL is kind of weird about it. Here we go, sports champions for Frank to make it five to five, to make it six to five. This is a double. The season of the NHL lockout in the 2000s, what three teams won the World Series, NBA Finals, and Super Bowl? All right, the uh, NBA Finals was won by the uh, uh, San Antonio Spurs. The uh, World Series is won by the Chicago White Sox, and the Super Bowl is won by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Final answer? Yes. That's, that's some good shit right there. Six Very to good. five. Very good. <laughs> that's some good stuff right there. Frank up six to five. Good job, Frank. Uh, other side. Born in the USA. 
which I like don't think you've gotten to this question yet at any point in this. Well, this is tougher now, right? So I've, yeah. Yeah, I'm not dub- I'm not doubling. No double to make it six to six. Yeah. Finish your lyrics is 1984 Bruce Springsteen song. You don't work and you don't get paid. Final answer. Sorry, say it one more time. Couldn't hear you. You don't work and you don't get paid. Final answer. That is correct. Six to six. Six to six. Other side, Frank. It's not enough, though. Kirk still has one extra double. Keep that in mind. He's not doubled yet in this round. Uh, your category is going to be big four sports mascots. Big four sports mascots for one point, Frank. What big four team? What big four sport team used to have this mascot? Oh, that's uh, I think his name was Hip Hop Seventy Sixers. Final answer. Yes. That is Hip Hop of the Seventy Sixers. I actually think I meant to ask for the the character's name, which you ended up answering anyway. So what the fuck does it even matter? Uh, that's correct. It is now seven to six. Kirk has not used his double in the hard round yet. Next category is going to be Oscar's best picture. Oscar's I best guess, picture. I guess I'll use it here. Okay. Despite zero acting nominations, the 1998 epic war film Thin Red Line racked up seven nominations, including best picture, and was directed by who? Terrence Malick, final answer. That is correct. Eight to seven. Slight edge for Kirk. Next category for Frank is New York Mets. New York Mets to make it eight to eight. Acquired from Minnesota before the 1986 season, this infielder hit only four homers in 93 games, but went deep during game five of the 1986 World Series. Do the tuffle shuffle. Tim Tuffle. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> yes. That is correct. Eight to eight. By Ties way, it back up. Bonus, bonus trivia. The Mets traded Billy Bean for him. There you go. I think he also, Frank, he also had the, the error in that one nothing game too, right? Uh, no, game one. Game one. Game one. Only one that only one the Red Sox scored in game one. Yeah, Hurst, right? Yeah. Um, eight to eight. We're knotted up. Back over to Kirk. Both teams have used their double. Both people have used their double. Uh, Freddie Couples to make it nine to eight. To make it nine to eight. Freddie Couples in the hard difficulty. This American golfer, a teammate of his at the 1991 Ryder Cup, knocked couples out in the third round of the 1999 World Golf Championship match play. That is a brutal answer. This American golfer, a teammate. Jesus, this is, like, ridiculous. 99. Ten seconds. I mean, this I, uh, Mark Kalkovecchia, final answer. Incorrect. It's Steve Pate. Steve Pate. That is <laughs> eight to eight. That's it's like asking what club. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Eight to eight. Last one in the hard. Seinfeld for Frank. We're knotted up. Seinfeld for Frank. In the gymnast episode, what is the suggested name of the newly merged water company that Elaine takes issue with on behalf of Mr. Pitt? What's the name that they don't like? Or that she that she takes issue with that they suggest, excuse me. To make it nine to eight. I wish there's a double dip for this one. Uh oh. Five, four. Molin Creek. Molin Springs. Molin Springs. Really tough miss. And that would have been my double dip. That's <laughs> that. I would have done Calcan. I would have done the same thing on mine too. I would double, uh, a tough question. Tough category. Tough category. Uh, first miss for Frank and Seifel. That was a tough question. Here we go. Other side to regain the lead, Kirk. <clears throat> History of the Eagles. In the portion discussing the Troubadour nightclub, what were Mondays called when there was an open stage for people to perform? No, absolutely no idea. I mean, no clue. None. Uh, 
No clue. No idea. But open mic, final answer. I have no idea. It's called Hoot Night. Hoot okay. Night. Yeah, Hoot it's... Night. All right, we're nodding up completely even. Four, oh, this is interesting because I don't know what OT is. Uh, four standard dozen categories. Frank picked history, TV, National Hockey League, and Major League Baseball. Kirk picked Major League Baseball, television, golf, and movies. Here we go. U.S. history for Frank. Do you want to double? No. I did not think so. Here it is. A front runner for the 19, 1988 Democratic nomination, this Colorado senator dropped out when extramarital affair allegations surfaced. Gary Hart. That is correct. Nine to eight. Frank with the lead. Other side, Kirk, here's your question. Major League Baseball. In 1989, this 25 year old Toronto Blue Jays first baseman lead American League in home runs and OPS, finishing six in AL MVP voting. Uh, Cecil Fielder, final answer? Be Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff, true lead for Frank. This is, yeah, I'm done. Call it a Here day. we go. Frank, TV, <clears throat> double or not? No double. Here we go, Frank, to make it a 10 to 8. Before giving full ball, going full bald for the shield, the balding Michael Chiklis was the lead of this ABC police comedy drama from 91 through 96. The commish. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. Ten By the eight. way, Michael Chiklis, great Red Arbach, pissed off they canceled that damn show. All right, I'll double the golf, I guess. Okay, golf for Kirk to make it 10 to 10 temporarily. Here's your golf question, Kirk. In a show of sportsmanship after the chaos of Justin Leonard's putt, who can see? Payne uh, Stewart. 10 to 10, tied up. NHL, Frank, do you want NHL doubled or will you double Major League Baseball? I'll double Major League Baseball. Okay, this is to make it 11 to 10. Two Flyers won Vesna trophies in the 1980s, including this goalie in 1986, 1987, who would go on to hold multiple front office jobs in the NHL. Ron Hextall. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. And the other one, and the other one was Pelia Lindbergh, who died tragically in a car crash on my birthday. Right. Uh, 11 10 to make it 11 11. Kirk's double off the board. This is going to be movies. Movies for Kirk. Billy Bob Thornton wrote, directed, and started uh, this. Swing blade, swing blade, finally. That is correct. 11 11. Frank, if you get this, it's over. He's going to get this. I mean, Jesus. Here we go for the win to make it. 13-11, and the upset to move on to the next round. Here it is. In 1988, this 24-year-old San Francisco Giants first baseman led the National League in RBIs and walks, which right. was fifth in NL MVP voting. Will the Thrill Clark. Final answer? Yes. Frank the Tank upset. That is correct. 13-11, knocks out Kirk. The number one seed is down. Kirk, thoughts? I mean, Frank played well. I mean, I kept my mouth shut with it. Like, this is a different tournament than I signed up for. Um, That's, I mean, it, was, it was changed. It was changed. Six rules. I mean, I bet, listen, Fred McGriff was a bad miss, but Major League Baseball, I kind of just, whatever. Like, I didn't really know it that, that well. I didn't know the four to pick there. But Frank deserved to win. He played great. I hope he wins the tournament. Frank's good at stuff like this. Uh, I'm happy for him. Uh, this is his championship. Um, so he gets to have it. But, uh, I mean, this is like, I almost – want to withdraw my name before this match is even put on. Because this isn't the tournament. Like, we might as well just be asking questions about, like, random people's pubic hair at fucking malls in Wisconsin. Like, it doesn't, you know, it's a disgrace. But the rules are fair. No, no, nothing against Frank. Frank played really well. He deserved to win. So, I got no does problem. It, does, it, does, it, does it ease anything knowing that this has no bearing on the regular season of the dozen? No, but I do think Frank is I, – I never knew this, but I think Frank is very popular on social media, and I think some questions are geared more so he moves on to tournaments, which is fine. <laughs> um, I, I don't. I generally don't complain, so you know that. But, like, I mean, the Fred Couples question was <laughs> the wildest question ever asked in the history of this. We, I was like, we, we, we might be out of Fred Couples things. Hmm? We that? might be out of Fred Couples things, I will say. Yeah, I mean, it was nuts. But that being said, I'm more – Upset that the tournament got switched midstream. That has nothing to do with Frank, who outplayed me and absolutely deserved this win this match. 
So Frank, congratulations to you. You played very well. Is, is, so is there an asterisk being slapped on it? No, no, no. Frank deserved to win. I get no problem. No, not with Frank. That. No, I'm just, I'm just on the tournament in general. On the Manhattan oh, experience. For sure. I mean, you changed the tournament midstream, Jeff. You changed like six things in the tournament, including the order of questions being asked. Like, so there were three things changed within this round, like mid tournament. Like, it's just over fiddling. That I think it's just you know, in my opinion. But if I won, I'd probably feel differently. So full credit to Frank. <laughs> Uh, Frank, you move on. You take on either Nick or Fran. Who would you rather see? Your comrade? I'd love to have a showdown with Nick. <laughs> oh, that seems like there's some loaded be- – there's some. There's a little something to that there. Um, uh, well, I look at it this way. Nick, a showdown with Nick means that uh, a Franquette is automatically in the championship. That's fair. That's fair. That's a good point, Frank. Uh, that's, that's the way I look at it. I And, and I hope KB wins his match. So three of the final four are Frankette. Uh, that may happen. That's you'll, a match you'll see tomorrow. Both Frankettes are in play tomorrow night. First, you will see uh, Nick and Fran, followed by KB and Clem. And then the final four, the night after that, two people in the final four ready. Frank the Tank, the 24 seed, and the one seed, Kirk Minahan. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.